All right, part three would have been playing. But first, before I do that, uh, lots of random swag that I just got. So basically, I had Club Nintendo points that were running, or coins from Club, Nin <coughs> Club Nintendo that I was like, that I had that were running out. And then like, uh, I got this shirt with like the, basically the original Super Mario Brothers on the Nintendo. And it has like this insert thing of like, thanks for Club being a Club Nintendo member. So I got this. I think it was like 500 coins. It was it was up there, cause I had like 350 expiring, and I could only get like a poster and a screensaver. And I was like, eh, I don't want to. I don't want a screensaver, and I didn't have enough to get any of the Plane Watch games or the uh, and like the Hanafuda cards, which I <laughs> I'm gonna re really regret not getting those if they if they <laughs> if they're not in the store again, because that was like the first thing I saw that I wanted, but I never got around to getting them. So yeah, there's that. All right, and then this is uh, let's see. There you go, nice close up as we have Luigi, Mario, Peach, Bowser, Toad, uh, Goomba, Squid Thingy, Koopa, and uh, what is that called? Cheap Cheap. Oh, Cheap Cheap and Blooper and the Koopa Trooper. That's what the enemy is. See, it's weird because like, it doesn't have all the enemies, it just has like some of them because there's no Bullet Bill, there's no uh, the little beetle things that you jump on, but you can't just like jump on them and then like kick them and like kill them like the Koopas, so yeah. And then uh, yeah I already, I, I'm not sure, like, it's weird because like when I, okay so basically I won Best of the Citadel for Best Omni Kill, and then uh, this is like one of the, the uh, or the, uh, yeah I won a bunch of like different stuff, and uh, it came in like two shipments, that was weird. <laughs> so yeah, I got like the second shipment like a couple weeks ago, so this is um, I think one of, I forgot what it's called. I'll look it up while I'm like doing this, but this is like one of the N7 jacket thingies. And then um this is one of the N7 hoodie thingies. It's the I can't remember what it's called, gunmetal or whatever color, but I'll look it up. I think no, I think those are the two jackets actually. And then like the hoodies in here or is it? But yeah, this is uh let's see, I got an N7 hat. And then, uh it's weird cuz like it like said I was going to get like the other stuff that but I guess like in the fine print it says like it probably said something about like you know subject to availability so maybe they like ran out. But it's cool because I got I ended up getting this uh, Mass Effect Invasion the uh, graphic oh almost dropped it the uh, graphic novel version so that's pretty cool I haven't read it yet so looking forward to it since this is mentioned in Mass Effect Three and I would like to know what goes on before the. Uh, very probable DLC for the <laughs> that comes out. Oh, that's the other thing about Extended Cut that I'm glad they did. It was like they changed that that uh, that final message. It wasn't like your religion and DLC. It was all like it was like felt more like a like you finish a Sega game in the arcade and it's like thanks for playing. Or yeah, it's like thanks for playing. You're number. Well, I didn't say thanks for playing. You're number one, but like it like it wasn't as. And it was ah, that the first one was just so tasteful, and this one was like more. We appreciate your fans for like being awesome, and it was not as like yeah. I was like okay, after I saw that was cool. I was like okay, that's a lot better than uh, the first one. Okay, and then like this is cool because I wasn't expecting this, so it's like this is the. Uh, I'm totally gonna like wear this and make a video. The uh, Commander Shepard like fan hoodie thing, or not fan hoodie, but like the the one with like the full like thing on the face where you can like put it on your face and like zip it up and be like, yeah, I've got a, I am Commander Shepard. So yeah, I didn't buy one of these yet and it's like way more than I wanted to pay and I didn't buy one and I was like, oh, alright, cool, now I did buy one. <laughs> alright, and then besides that, uh, I put in a order at the Bioware store for like a ton of stuff one day, because I had like a sell, and like, there's two tally shirts, and then like one of them, I was like worried about going out of print, so I was like, oh dude, I gotta get that before it goes out of print. And then like, I'm still, like, ho I'm really hoping the other Thane one, or the Thane one, I wanted to get that, but it's been out of print for a while, so I'm like, dude, don't let it be out of print, so it's like, whenever that comes back in, I'll get it. Like, there's that one, the Garish one, the Liara one, and the other tally one that I want to get, like, whenever I get paid again, I'll totally like get those, but then, uh, I wanted to get like this other tally one for sure, just because it says like "Keyless Ally" on the back, and that was that was just like cool. And then, uh, so basically, they have like oh, I'm not sure you can see this in the pit, like cause they're all black, so I'm not sure if they're gonna show up good. But um, there's like all the class shirts for like the multiplayer. This is the Vanguard. 
and uh, yeah, I got like went ahead and like got all this on sale for like twelve bucks or something. Cause, like they were twenty like regular prices, but I was like, dude, that is like way more than I'm willing to pay for these. And then like one sell they were on sale one day. I was looking at the uh, Mass Effect Facebook page. They had like a thing about like them on sale. Let's see what class is this? I think this is Sentinel because I see tech armor. I don't see any awards though. Yeah, I think it's it's Sentinel because it's like tech armor and like overload on the back, or not on the back, but on the bottom. And then we have what is this? This is Soldier because it has the uh, adrenaline boost thing right there. And then, oh, best class in the game, Engineer, as we see the drone, because, you know, they just want their own drone to go out on the battlefield and kill enemies and draw fire. Oh, Infiltrator, Sniper Rifle, <laughs> and stuff on, the, on that. And then, Adept, oh yeah, who is in the biotics, yeah. I'll, <laughs> I guess I'll try to like open those while I'm talking about other stuff in this video, but, uh, because that's not really a good shot. Oh, dude, this tally one looks looks way more awesome. Uh, so yeah, there's that. And then I just picked up the rhythm. I pre-ordered this yesterday, and it, and like I guess because it's the first, like the dude said, like I pre-ordered it because I wanted like the stylus and the stickers things, and I and like I asked the dude, I was like, so if I pre-ordered this, does that mean I'm gonna get this? And he's like, no, that was only if you pre-ordered before uh, June twenty something. But then he's like, only two people pre-ordered at that store, and he's like, yo. We might have we um yeah, we might have extras left over. So I was like, cool, I pre-ordered it. But then it was cool because I got this today, and like uh, it's only like, like it's the only copy that they had at the time because like their shipment hadn't arrived or whatever or something. He said I can't remember, but basically it has like the stylus and the stickers like inside the thing. I guess since it's like a first print or whatever, so that's cool. That saves me the uh, stress of being like, oh man, I didn't get one. But uh, let's see. What have been playing? Well, obviously Mass Effect 3, but I talked about that last segment, so besides Mass Effect 3, let me check my Raptor. I oh, Dragon Quest 5. <laughs> so yeah, Dragon Quest 5, still awesome, by the way. I, I've been playing that, and I'm on the final boss, and just like Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest 4, <sighs> pain, just multiple forms, dude, that, that like, it's like that doesn't annoy me it's like actually i actually enjoy that throwback towards like i'm fighting a boss and like they will like transform cell style or freeze the style into a more powerful form and become more <laughs> more tough to destroy but like man just <sighs> just that final boss dudes just is is wrecking my face right now yeah i'm looking at my raptor and doesn't say i've played anything and i know i haven't I've, I've bought some stuff but i haven't like played any of the stuff i bought <laughs> Cause I, I, uh, that there's a game on PSP called Gun G Near or Gun Near or however you want to say it, but it's spelled G U N G N I R. It's like a Norse spelling thing. And then, uh, like I got that off the PSN because I, I wanted to pre-order it, but didn't have any like pre-order bonus, so I didn't feel like pre-ordering it for a uh, any thingy. Oh, this is a tally shirt, by the way. I'm, I was just like making sure it was visible. And it says keyless ally on the back. Oh yeah. And then um So yeah, Gun Year. It's basically a game like Tactics Ogre or Final Fantasy Tactics. And uh I love those games. So or strategy RPG. So I got that off the PSN store, it was like thirty bucks, so that's like the MSRP, so it's like whatever. It, it may not be cheaper, but it's like a lot easier or more convenient than going to a GameStop or wherever, cause like yeah, every like then like when I was like looking for it like at the stores in my area, like they all said that they're at low supply, so I didn't like go like go in and like have them be all, oh we don't have any of it. This is the uh, adept, by the way. So yeah, there's that. So I got that off the PSN for thirty bucks. I haven't played it yet though, cause I haven't <laughs> I haven't played any PSP games since I've been playing uh Dragon Quest. So until I finish that, I'm not gonna really worry about it. Um. Let's see. There's something else I think. Oh, Tomba. So yeah, there's a, on the PSN store as well. The PS1 Classics Tomba that came out. I got that. It was ten bucks, but the day it came out, I like bought it without even checking. And I was talking with my one of my friends. He was all like, "Man, I can't even believe it was ten bucks on the store." I was like, "It was ten bucks." Cause I didn't even look. I just like bought it without looking. Like, oh right, Tomba. Cause I've, I've been wanting to play that game for a long time. This is the uh, Infiltrator. So yeah. So yeah, finally. I ain't got Tomba, but I haven't played it yet, so... Hmm. Well, I'm looking at... Oh, okay, for a second there, I was looking at the time, and I thought it said 20 minutes. I was like, holy crap, that... <laughs> I did not mean to be doing this segment for 20 minutes. But it's only 10, so that's good. Um... 
I don't think I've been playing anything else besides this. Besides the games for the uh, the stuff, the videos, that, the, the the games I'm making videos of, like Resident Evil and Splinter Cell. They haven't. I don't think I've been playing anything besides that. So yeah, this is the engineer. Do do do. Um, let's see. Yeah, PSP. I haven't played my PSP. So, and DS. I've just been playing. Dragon Quest 3DS. I haven't played anything except for the. I guess I'll talk about the 3DS because I've been playing the Find Me thing and I played through it the first time, like all the way through, and I'm on like the Find Me second quest. But this is my second time through the second quest, so yeah. And basically, right now I'm at I'm like stuck on a, a room that is full of poison gas, and I can only get through it with the this is the soldier, with the. I have to have two two of the two me's with yellow shirts, so that's like the only way or in a row. So, Pretty much because I have to cast Sandstorm, and I guess it's going to like cancel out the the poison gas in the room. I only I only know this because I looked it up on GameFAQs. Cause I I like would I would send people that I'd met in Street Pass or like whatever into that like where I'm at, and like they kept getting sent back because they couldn't do anything after that. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna look up how to get past this stupid room, and I'm stuck still because. I'm not sure if you had to send two. I think I think it is like two yellow me's in a row, which, or two two me's with yellow shirts in a row to cancel out the poison gas and like get be able to get through. So yeah. Let's see. This is a uh, yeah. This is Sentinel. That's right. So yeah. Tech armor right there. The Omni Blade and Overload and a Matic on the bottom. Um. And then like sometimes I'll go into the Super Mario Bros. 3DS and like, cause it'll be like blinking green which means that you got gifts from uh, people that you street passed with, so it's like, they'll give you but since I've basically unlocked everything in that game, I don't really have any more reason to play it anymore, so but if you go in, it'll give you like the gold coins which, if you haven't beaten the second set of castles or second set of worlds, it'll help you unlock uh, stuff more, more frequently alright, there's the vanguard Okay, let's see. Done talking about games this episode. Anything else I forgot? Hmm. That might be it. Might, wait a minute. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I think I'm done now. So I've been playing and swag and stuff. So yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, favorite or not. And then, uh, check out aimlesspodcast.com. There's a link on my channel. I would put an annotation or something or a link in the description, but pff, that's like way more work than... <laughs> okay, it's not way more work, but whatever. Oh, it has a Club Nintendo on the back. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. So yeah. That's it for this is issue, this this episode. Chat with Tegan. And uh, yeah, until next episode. Tegan here. Oh wait, I guess before I sign off. Um... If anybody wants to play on PSN or Xbox Live or Steam or whatever, any co-op game, because, you know, I don't play co-op now. I'm, I'm kind of done with the whole shooting other people <laughs> in the face online. Or just, yeah, I'm just, yeah, just <laughs> dealing with trolls is like, F it. I, I just play co-op with my friends. or like, let's team up and save the world or whatever. So, yeah, um, co-op only. Or no co-op, no sale, as he used to say. Um, so, yeah. You want to play online, just leave a comment with your... Or send me a message and be like... Let's play on PS or Steam or Xbox Live, and sure, I'll add you and stuff. So yeah, that's it for this episode of Channel Tegan. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or constructive criticism or whatever, just leave it in the comments below. And until next week, I'm now sending off. F the haters.